draw a diagram and solve a simpler problem. Now, sometimes uh, drawing out a diagram or um, to for a problem or solving a simpler version of a problem can help you see a pattern to solve a more complex problem. And I'm going to do a couple of examples of this. So if you look here, uh, these are generally done for word problems. But uh, again, these are uh, just some examples of how to think through this. There are 65 teams that play in the NCAA basketball tournament each year. When a team loses, they are eliminated. How many games will it take to be able to crown the champion? OK, so let's try and figure this out. If we wanted to do this, let's say that there's the following teams, A, B, C, D, and E, and F. And it doesn't really matter what uh, the teams are that are playing. Um, it just matters that I'm coming up with a system here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's only seven teams, I'm assuming, to start with, just as a way of solving a simpler problem. So it let's go ahead and say, okay, well, A plays B, C plays D, E plays F, and G does not play that round. So let's say that A wins. And then over here, let's say that C wins. And over here, let's say E wins. And so G didn't play. And so now A is going to play C. And then E is going to play G. So now let's say that C wins here and G wins here. So now C and G are going to play. And let's say that G wins. So if we look here, we have one game, two games, three games. That's in the first round there. Then we have four games, five games. Then we have six games. OK, so that's one example. And if I wanted to go ahead and do it with an even simpler version, I could just say A, B, C, and D. OK, well, A plays B, and C plays D. Let's say B wins this time, and D wins this time. So now B plays D, and B wins. So one game, two games, three games. And if you look here at the pattern, well, when there were seven teams, there were six games that were needed. When there were four teams, there were three games that were needed. So you can probably guess at this point, for 65 games, or 65 teams, you're going to need 64 games. Because that makes sense, because you're just left with one that is not eliminated. Now, for a second problem here, there are nine girls and boys in a club. The club wants to make sure that there are either a boy president and a girl vice president, or a girl president and a boy vice president. How many possible combinations are there? So what we can go ahead and do is we could label them out as, uh, let's say, girl A, B, C, D, E, F, G. OK. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, H, I. OK, so we've got all those girls there. So we have eight boys. So now we have, uh, we'll name the boys J, K, L, M, N, O, P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Q, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. OK. So if I have this girl is elected, how many possible ways are there of having this girl is elected president, 
how many possible ways are there to have a boy elected vice president? Well, let's look here. Well, there's this one, this one, this one. Actually, let me go back a minute here because I want to make sure it's clear in terms of the coloring. This one here, that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there, and so on. So you can probably guess at this point there's going to be a total of, if A is elected president, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 possible ways of there being if, uh, if A is elected president. Now, if instead I wanted to do it, if B was elected president, how many would there be? Well, I'll give you a hint, it's the same thing, because B could still be partnered with all these, right? You should all be to B. So, <coughs> so each for each of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So for each of these 9, there's going to be a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different possibilities. So that's going to be 9 times 8, which is then going to be 72. And so remember that number 72. While I get rid of this here, try to do it carefully. Okay, so now the other part of the problem, though, is what if a boy wins the presidency? Well, in that case, there there would be one possible uh, girl vice president. Two, three, four, five, and this is all of J six. Seven, eight, nine. So nine possibilities. So if you look again, that makes sense. That then there would be one, two, three, and this would happen the same exact way that we did it already. So we got for each one of these, there'd be nine possibilities. So in this case here, it would be eight times nine. So you add them all up together, and what do you end up with? You end up with 144. And that's the amount of possibilities you would have if you went ahead and had a girl president or and a boy vice president or a boy president and a girl vice president. And we did this all by drawing a diagram and making sure that that made sense. And that makes logical sense. Um, so, good.